Okay, things like in your swing are the following. Club face is squared up behind the center of the ball, which is perfect. Club ball in the middle of your stance. You get a seven iron in your hand. That's ideal. Posture. Spine angle's not bad, actually, but what causes everything else to be a little too hunched over is you got too much squat in that lower body of yours. You want to have, like, a little knee break mm -hmm. instead of an overflex. That'll keep your body weight on the balls of your feet because a couple times you got back on your heels. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I got to push you backwards with one finger. So keep that athletic stance. The other thing was trying to keep that right hand and arm a little more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Pressure-wise, see that's tucked in there? Mm -hmm. That keeps your shoulders square with your hips and feet. Now they're open or lined up left, where it's going to cause cut shots or pulls, depending on recovery. So we square the shoulders. We get less knee flex in there, so you're more in the balls of your feet. Everything else looks pretty solid. As you take the club back from the ball, let's watch the takeaway. Okay, club's going back pretty much just on a slightly inward arc with your arms and hands. Club rises up your body, top of your swing. Pretty good position there, but you're able to make a bigger turn and get your shoulders behind the ball by simply squaring up your shoulders, as I mentioned, and being a little better balanced will help as well. But that's not bad. On the way back down, the club drops in from the inside. You re-extend it and square it up, time it perfectly, and get onto your left side. So those little things will just rely you to not have to work on remaneuvering or recovering, and you'll have a more repeatable swing with less moving parts.